Hello and Happy New Year. Crowber here in the man cave. Happy holidays. Hope everyone's being safe. Um, doing December pickups today. Got a bunch of games to show you, a lot of variety. Let's get right into it. Well, first first uh, stack of games I got right here. These are going to be the games that I've actually put some play into. Um, that one. And I'll let you know, you know, kind of what I think of them. First up. NFL Football by Konami for the original Game Boy. Now, I, I believe this came out in like 1990, 91 maybe. This is a really old game. This doesn't even have the Jaguars or the Panthers on the roster. This is a horrible game. I used to play this as a kid and I loved it. It was highly playable. It killed time and I understood what I was doing. I threw this in on Christmas Day. This was the first game that I wanted to play. And I sucked. I couldn't play. It's horror. It's not even playable. It's too old. It's too slow. Everything about it sucks. I don't know what I saw with that game back in the day. But I saw something. I remember. But that something's gone. So that game's going to go in the vault and probably never enter uh, my Game Boy ever again. That's okay. Next game up. This was the first Namco uh, Museum for the PlayStation 1. Or actually it's Volume 3, but it's the first one I've ever had. And I love it. It's got six classic games on it. And they all play pretty well. My favorite uh, would be Galaxian and also Miss Pac-Man. And Pole Position is okay. It's it's too quick. But, you know, it, I, I also I want to start playing Dig Dug. I've never played that. So I figured, why not? Why not? Um, also, what's cool about this game, which is... I know, I gotta show, I gotta show everyone that it's complete. Um... The disc is actually in the PlayStation when I was playing Galaxian this morning. Um, is you go through like a little museum to get to each arcade game, and it gives you history and everything, it gives you the actual classic arcade uh, look, and it's just got a good feel. You just feel like you're back in the day when you're playing that game. So, good game. I think I paid five bucks for it. Next up, stay with the PlayStation One games. Italian Job. Now this was the game that came out. Um, way before the movie with Mark Wahlberg, but this game, i actually very impressed with this game. I like it a lot. It's made by Rockstar. It gives you that old school um, Grand Theft Auto feel. You're just doing a lot of chases, a lot of missions. There, Some of them are quick, some of them are a little trickier than others, but it's a good mix, and um, it's a great game. Why can't I open my games today? I am struggling. Butterfingers. And, uh, like I said, it's a cool game. It's got those old school uh, Mini Coopers on it. Now, this is a hidden gem. I, I talked about the other Pitfall um, in my older video, or in the previous video, which was the Mayan Adventure. This is the Lost Expedition, and this is an excellent game. If, if you have a Game Boy Advance, you need to get this game. Great colors. Graphics look amazing. Everything is fast. Um, whoa, what else did I love? Oh, it has a story. There's a lot of text going on, so you have to read. It just... It, you're right into it. And it also has great save states. So you play about 5 to 10 minutes and then you're able to save. So you're not playing this whole game just to get to the boss and then you lose and then you shut off and you gotta do everything again. No, that's great. Great game. Hidden Gem. Next up, Wave Race. Now this is probably the most, or the the best game that I've played so far that I've gotten. And me and Carson love this game. It's got really good water phys physics um, before the game actually loads. Your screen turns into like a mirage of water and then trickles down the screen and then you're playing but it's so cool it's just the little things like that that actually make this a really complete game and you can tell they put a lot of thought into it who misses those old small gamecube discs i do gotta love the gamecube still ps1 is my favorite to collect for but gamecube is getting up there so let's finish off some more PlayStation 1 games. The rest of these games here I have not played. Um, IHRA Drag Racing. Get ready to be blown away. And uh, I had this game as a kid. I paid three bucks for it. The case is really uh, in bad shape. As <laughs> This used to be like the Harry Potter one. Um, but what you can always do is you can always buy um, like a dollar bootleg CD at the gas station and then you can just throw all this stuff in it and then your game's gonna look amazing so i'll probably do that for this but haven't played it yet probably sucks but for three bucks nostalgia 
I mean, next up, Final Fantasy VIII. Now, I'm about 25-ish hours into Final Fantasy VII. Hopefully, I'm halfway or close to halfway. And that's on the PlayStation Classic, so it's in HD. So, once I beat that, eventually, I will be playing the next one. Can't wait to get into it. Paid about 10 bucks. Complete. Oh, oh, things are falling apart here. Scratching all the damn discs. Um, I was trying to show everyone. This is one of those fat... Oh my god, what did I do to deserve this? It's like an avalanche. But yeah, all four discs. Ten bucks. Hopefully it works. Um, next up, two Xbox games. OG Xbox games. This was actually sealed. It's not factory sealed, but it's pretty cool how the uh, eBay seller put it in this seal and just makes it look kind of new. But this is Celebrity Deathmatch. MTV. Celebrity Deathmatch. Who remembers these clay wrestling guys? I mean, this show is just balls to the wall. We've got Nicole Smith, Jerry Springer, Busted Rhymes, uh, Ron Jeremy, Dennis Rodman, uh, Jerry Springer, Mr. T in Sync. Uh, holy cow. And Justin Timberlake. This, 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 this has it all. And uh, this is just one of those classic games. I think I paid like six, maybe seven bucks for it. But probably fun. The show was fun. The show was funny. Very uh, crude and raunchy. So always got to pick up a crude and raunchy game. I guess the last game I got that was really raunchy was South Park. Haven't played it yet, but I will definitely be playing this before I play um, South Park. Because I'm definitely more into the MTV series type stuff than the Comedy Central stuff. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I am just a reality show goon. All right. Enough talk. Next game, I got OG Xbox Crash Nitro Kart. I believe there's a Crash Tag Team Racing for the Xbox. But I went with this one because I simply got a good deal on it. Again, I don't... It's like I took all these and just threw them around. I don't know why every disc and whatever just can't stay in properly. But that's okay. We're fixing as we go in this video. And race is virtually any character in the Crash universe. Bumper to bumper multiplayer action for up to four racers. So, it looks like a good game. I'm sure it's a lot of multiplayer action. Alright. Now, this, the last game that I've picked up for December, which is Duck Dynasty. Now, this game... I'm not sure if it came sealed or not, but... Um, I think I paid three, three fifty, maybe 4 bucks for it. And it, it kind of looks similar to uh, Animal Crossing. You see the back there? I never really watch a show, but for four bucks, it's a 3DS game. It seemed a little interesting. Why not? All right. Now, these three games, Mr. Santa himself provided them to Carson. So we're going to show him here. Carson's eating a lollipop or a snack or something. So we'll have him on the next video, I promise. And the first game that Santa brought for Carson was the Lego movie. Video game. I love the Lego movie itself. Definitely a great time. Kind of got you away from, like, the the mainstream Lego games, like the Star Wars. This is just kind of like a new, creative, random story that, like, I don't know. I can't wait to check it out. Uh, Carson was playing this earlier. This is the second game he got from Santa. SpongeBob SquarePants and Plankton's Robotic Revenge. Platformer. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm sure he'll love that, or he's playing it now, so he probably loves it right now. But this is his favorite game that he said he got from Santa so far. Um, Animal Crossing. This is the Welcome Amiibo. We don't do Amiibos in this house. We're not going to, but this was the newer edition of the two for New Leaf. And uh, we have created a town so that I can visit Carson. Carson can visit me. I'm able to kind of show him what to do because I'm in his town and he's following me and pointing and clicking, telling him what to do. Woo! Got a lot of games. A lot of games for Christmas. That's what Christmas is all about. Toys and video games. And if it's not, then you can tell me different. Got a lot of games. Can't wait to check them all out. Played a few. We'll find some more time. Wow, 10 minutes. Let's wrap it up. Hey guys, happy holidays. Happy New Year, and we will see you next video. Take care.